on your new way. I drive an old Chevy, she's a rust and red. I'm from a little community just north of Butte, Montana, known as Elk Park, Montana. He hunted, he chopped wood, he helped butcher meat. The advantage of living there and how he was raised, I think, um, has a lot to do with his musical talent. Man, I have my first memory of going under the bed and finding this Marlboro Country tape. And that had like Charlie Daniels, Ronnie Millsap. I also found a Guns N' Roses tape that had Mr. Brownstone on one side and Welcome to the Jungle on the other. That's kind of where I'm at musically still, you know, 30 years later after finding those tapes. When I was about six years old, I got my first guitar, singing little melodies and rhyming things and just like playing words and just trying to keep my mind busy so I don't focus on how many fence posts I have to pound before the sun goes down. You know, I went to LA and I was trying to do this like rock and roll thing and everybody kept saying, dude, you are so country. And then I was like, well, maybe I just gotta listen to what everybody's telling me and go to Nashville. 2013, ZZ Top is ironically on tour with Kid Rock. Send in this chorus to a friend. Yeah, the likelihood of that hitting Billy Gibbons' inbox is like, no. Sure enough, it happened and he comes to Nashville. We finished writing the song together. It became an unofficial anthem for the Red Sox. They won the World Series. The song ended up making it on the official Red Sox movie and became like a big milestone for me in my career. So now we travel constantly. I mean, there's rare weekends that we're home, and so we're constantly on the road, and the band's like a group of brothers, rock and roll, country music, writing songs, raising hell, and eating good barbecue. <laughs> like this band, like our second calling is to just eat the best barbecue on earth constantly. Like, that's all we do. <laughs> I'm an entertainer, A, and I'm a people pleaser. I always want to make people happy, make people smile, and you know, if I can put maybe a, a song in their head, you know, some good food in their belly, and just getting everybody smiling, talking, chatting. Cooking for people is something I love, you know, and the band has just got used to coming over here. And I like doing ribs. It's kind of where I started, like, competing with my neighbors, and I, I kind of like the gentle tug versus the ball off the bone. For Fourth of July, I've had some pretty awesome ones. You know, it's America, you celebrate America's independence, and I mean, it's more American than eating some barbecue off of, you know, a Traeger, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. I'm happy as hell with the rust and red.